Hi everyone, Deathclaw Girl here. Would you like a chance at a PS5? Well, look at the link in the description and go to that video for a chance at one. And now, welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking, and by grabbing some of my free ebooks and audiobooks. Today I'm promoting a Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series, and Monster of Monsters, a sci-fi horror. You can read or listen to the first two stories of both these series for free. I've left the link in the description. Then later on, there'll be one in the upper right-hand corner. And now to this live stream. In this live stream, I'm basically going after the treasure hunters. I heard they're actually extended, extended, so that they should be here all the way through, I believe, noon on Tuesday for the weekly reset. So, yeah. Double score, still some treasure hunters. So yeah, this is a good weekend to get in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also testing the built-in mic for the PS5. Let me know how it sounds. So yeah, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna do as fast as I can with the um, hunting them. So I'll be playing a, probably less than an hour for this video. All right, let's get going. Check out what's up for score today. Pick a lock. I can do, I think, the drink. Nuka Cola is right now. There's two. I'll hold on to the grape. Let's see if I have one in my stash box. New. I definitely can grab some from Nuka World, so I'll hold off. I just got one more of that. Let's see what else is on the score. Oh, double. Blood Eagles and Ghouls. I need to mod a weapon. Uh, I can do that real quick. It's actually very quick to do modding. You just have to have a weapon. I'm going to throw out a crafting table. Wish they put these in alphabetical order. I can never remember what order they're in. I think I already passed it. Yeah. So back to the beginning. Crafting. There you go. Need a weapons bench. So the fastest way to mod is select a weapon that can have paint on it. You can even select one of the ones you've already been. Uh, Now I go down to the paint, unpaint it, which is default. Go back to paint, default again. There it goes, and we'll put it back on paint. You should always paint all of your armor, your weapons, melee weapons, whatever you have, especially if you want to keep it, because they actually go invisible when you go to a vendor. You also do have to remember that you have to remove the paint or skin so that you can sell them when you go to sell them. I'm going to join my own team. I'm in a private world, so there won't be anyone coming in. Actually, I'm going to switch it out to the endurance team, which is expiration. It'll give me a plus one to endurance. It's the one thing uh, that the bloody, let's see, that's the one thing bloody does not improve. Yes, yeah, so the max is 15. With the plus one, it actually puts me at 15. And for today, oh, I am going to actually go get the Nuka Launcher again. It's been very nice for these treasure hunter events. You go chase that Nuka Launcher. All right, this one. Also need to put out uh, this. So I can change into crafting mode. I had better perk cards there. Nice, quick, and easy. 
going to repair my weapons and then I'll be on my way. It's like I need to sell off quite a bit. Still want to try that out. Not too bad. It has a faster fire rate and the anti-armor. I tested a non-legendary Hellstorm a long time ago. Oh, as I was saying with the nuke launchers, they are not an inside weapon. You do get a lot of backlash from them. But from a distance, they are really, really good. Let me show you real quick. You're unfamiliar with it. It's a scoreboard weapon towards... Um, past the halfway mark, towards basically the end. But it not only has the 50% limb damage, it also has 50% against the mole miners. So yeah, with two shots... I'm almost a level 500. With two shots, I can take out a three-star legendary mole miner with no problem. Um, make sure I got the ammo for it. Otherwise, it will be useless. Ammo is heavy, so I'm going to take only about half of it at a time. Make sure I got the perk cards for it again. Okay. Before I think it does work with the Anna. Let me make sure. Ordnance. Okay, it's at 33 pounds right now. And this is not full out, it's only a two star, so it should be less, more than half lighter. 33 to 13. Yes, yeah, so that's one of the cards that works with the Nuka launcher. This is a must have card. Gives you 60% more on the explosions. And there's another one I've been using. I think it's here. Let's see. The Grenader. I need two stars for it. Um, the, the, it's a radius card. So the explosion, when it does happen, should be twice as big with this card. And it does seem to be working, so I'm going to get rid of one of the commando cards. And use that one. This card does not work with it at all, since it's already an aiming weapon. And it has to be a tossing weapon. This does work with the tomahawk, though, if you're interested. Tomahawk's a great, very beginning weapon. I'm going to go ahead and throw out another slugger card. <laughs> my friend just messaged me that's why I was laughing I don't think you can see the messages so I'll try to uh, throw in that I am reading just so it doesn't seem like I'm randomly laughing I'm going to go to Nuka World. It's a free fast travel point, so it'll get me closer to where I want to start out. And I'm going to sell off a bunch of these legendaries and lighten my load. Yeah, I'm kind of excited. The treasure hunters are still supposed to be in the game. They were yesterday. Actually, did not go hunting. Just 
accidentally came upon a couple of them, so that was really nice. Thought about keeping this, but replenish action points I think is a useless legendary, so I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And right now I'm trying to get rid of stuff that's really heavy. That one's really heavy. And it's easily acquired by doing an event. I think it's spin the wheel at Nuka World that you get it. And here's a neat trick. If you got to, like when you're doing the Scorch, Holiday Scorch, Spooky Scorch, or the Treasure Hunters, you'll grab an empty power armor frame when you're over and come and just got a boatload of uh, legendaries. You can throw on pieces that you want to sell later. And the most it will weigh is the weight of the frame, which the normal weight of the frame is 10 pounds. So I'm going to throw this on. It's already 10 pounds. I got rid of 10 pounds. I think that was it. No, there was one more, I think. Let me check again. I might have sold it. I think I did sell it. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, it's 23 pounds. Looking over one more time. All right. That lightened me up quite a bit. I'm a bloody build. I do like with all the special extra perks that you get, no, special points that you get. I don't go way down on my health though. But I like how I can carry more. Alright. I got a favorite. This. So it throws it on the quick menu. These hold 12. I think the long barrel was the only mod for this. I, I think there's only, no, maybe there's two. Let me look at it real quick. Long barrel. Yeah, I think the long barrel was the only addition that you could add to it. I, I know there is two mods to learn, but they're both barrels. So there's a long barrel and some other barrel to learn. All right, let's get hunting. This I found has been a good spot. There are already mole miners there. And for the most part, I'm going to ignore other enemies and just focus on the treasure hunters. Other thing I'm going to do real quick is sell some stuff. Here's another good hint. When you go in every day, don't forget to trade in your legendary items and at least sell one thing because that starts the counter for your timed, your money there it has a 22 hour refresh. So, yeah, you have to wait. 22 hours before the 1400 comes back. So try to remember to spend it, sell at least one thing right when you come in. That way it'll be 22 hours since you start the game and not at the end or whatever time you do get around to a vendor. My goal today is to make enough for at least one of these um, ornate mole miner pails. 
I'm going to try to collect five, not today, but five all together, and then I'll open them after I have crafted them. Usually I have, uh, I've been getting about two of the plants out of five. So I don't know if it matters that I open them together or they're already set when you make them. So yeah, I don't know if they're set when you make them or set when they're when you open them. So how is the built-in mic sounding? I'm hoping just to be able to use this for live streaming. I don't think it's as good as the um, plug-in type or wireless type, but I just really hate wearing them. So this will be great if it's you know manageable, not too bad. And I don't hear a treasure hunter. So I'm going to go up to White Springs. That'll be my next destination. I'm going to do exterior. It's also a free fast travel point. If you don't know, if you go inside that fast travel point into what's called White Springs Mall, it has nearly everything that you need for crafting, cooking. The only thing that it is missing is that new Fallout First unlimited ammo storage container. Now the one place that does have that unlimited ammo storage container, besides anyone that has it, oh there's the bugs. Camp is Nuka World. They do have one. Google section of today's daily done. Over here, very close to White Springs, it's still on the White Springs property. It is I think the golf club? I gotta check the name again. Let me hear the map. White Springs Golf Club. Inside the building is a boatload of ghouls. The only time they are not here is if uh, this place gets nuked and then they turn into, or the robots come. Here's the other one. I think I got it. Alright. I'm going to switch over to chainsaw. This is a vampire chainsaw. Vampire weapons are awesome. Oh, I hear one. Vampires replace your health with each hit. And the chainsaw is rapid. There is a downside to using the chainsaw. Is that you can get knocked and you gotta restart it. And it does not work as a jumping weapon.
as you can see, does very good with hordes. Okay. That electrical explosion you saw is actually, a, I think, a perk card that I have. I have to, or it's something on my armor, I don't remember. But basically, I have a chance of, oh, I bet it's, uh, yeah, it's probably a piece of my armor. I have a chance of uh, firing off, I think that looked like electricity, or it could be in the, the, the cold stuff. I need to look at it again. Okay, he is probably downstairs, so we're going to go down that way. First, I'm going to check. I don't want any of them to sneak up on me. Let's go downstairs now. They usually stay put. Oh, there he, there's one of them. They usually stay put until they spot you, and then they'll take... Oh, they take off running. And if you're not fast enough, their legendary will regenerate them. So you can almost have them all the way down, and yeah, they regenerate and then take off, and then you're chasing after them. <laughs> all right, so yeah, they are definitely still in the game. That's good. That's what I got. I hear another one. So he's probably outside. Usually they're over in this corner. Nope. There he is. Oh, he's a two star. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. That one I probably could have gotten from a distance with the Nuka launcher. Now I'm just going to run across the top of these buildings. See if there's any more in this area. And with that horde I should have completed that ghoul. Yeah, there it is. If you haven't heard and you're just joining, it's double score weekend to get more points for the dailies. Usually you don't get anything for the weeklies. And it didn't appear that they did. The other thing that was weird this time, they had some glitches with the scoring, so yeah. Hopefully it's showing proper for all of you. Let's see who they're taking on. A honey beast. I'm not going to interfere unless, of course, they get taken out, but uh, I always end up accidentally shooting one of the robots and then they become mad at me. Quite a few of them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think what it is, I always use my explosive, and even though I don't technically hit them, my explosive does give off. Nothing of extra charge in the area, but it slightly damages them. And then, yeah, they're not happy. looking for rag stags, this lake in the back is always a good spot. There's usually at least two and a high probability that they will be glowing. So if you're needing some glowing creatures for the scoreboard. Alright, I'm going over to this uh, other area that has a bunch of mole miners. Oh, 
I'm going to go in the back way and I'll show you one of the spots that there's a probable bobblehead spawn. So anyone can climb up here. You don't have to have the marsupial or the jet pack like I do. Oh, and there is a bobblehead today. So yeah, it's always here. I think it's like a 20% chance. Okay, I hear a treasure hunter. I'm going to try to just take him out and leave the other mole miners. Sneak around enough. Up oh, there he is. I do hate that they put those images of whatever you grab right in the center. I don't know about you, but I like to know what's going on there. And it, some of the items actually block. And you don't know if you're still in caution. I think I'm okay. Next spot, I'm going to drop my camp for free fast travel. It's called the railroad. The camp is. And another great spot to hunt is the Pleasantville Ski Resort and the cabins that are in back. Over there. Later on, I'll have to test my mic. Um, I was noticing during live streaming there was an echo, not with me, but any of my friends that would join. So I'm wondering if this will hopefully fix it by just using the mic that's on the controller. It was slightly annoying, I guess. I don't know if it is that way while it's live streaming. I'll have to ask when one of them does come into the game, probably later tonight. my hidden sack collector. That blended in pretty good. I'll need to do a live stream on that new companion that you get off the scoreboard. I haven't had a chance yet. I'm going to switch over. If you don't mind taking the time, you can be on your own team. And there's another one, role playing. I'll give you an extra plus one to charisma, which would improve your selling and buying from vendors. My stomach keeps growling. Is it picking up on the mic?
also trying to get the vendor's caps really low. So when I do buy that item from them, that craftable pail, I'll get more money to, to try to get from them again. Let's see. All right, I'll do it now. It's probably low enough. So I'm going to get the empty ornate minor pail. It's 1925. Um, I think you get 25% back. So let's see, I should get like about 500 back. A little less, but that's a good estimate. Better than my estimate the other day. But as you can see, I got another 500 caps to work with. I still don't think I'll have enough today, though, to purchase another ornate pail. But maybe if I do enough events, including to later tonight, maybe I'll make enough. Okay, this is another really good spot. Now, all the spots I'm going to are not going to have more miners. They are definitely random encounters. There are Scorch here. And I'm just going to run this way and avoid them and go to the back. Oh, there's actually one right there. So I'm going to use my Nuka on it. There's always a red light, and there's always the noise. Hear the noise? So hopefully I got some radius damage. Which it does appear to be working. Let me go ahead and blow that up so I can get on it. to the next spot. I think the most I've ever found back here was four. Usually it's an average of two. That was very rare. And I'm just getting close enough to listen. Pause here. I got a message. So let me see what my friend messaged me real quick. was just telling me that my camp is on fire. Assuming they're watching a video. Oh, and my other friend is showing me that he got his PS5 in the in the mail finally. So he should be very happy with that. I really love my PS5. One, the fast travel is actually fast again. It seemed like with each update, fast travel got slower and slower for the PS4. Alright, there's just one more location to check here. 
Now, technically, treasure hunters can be found anywhere. But there's a area that I always, areas that I always check. And it seems to be pretty good spots. Going to Fort Atlas again. It's a free fast travel point, and I am conserving my caps so that I can buy the ornate uh, pails. Otherwise, usually I just fast travel directly to it because I'm usually pretty flush with caps. Doesn't take that long. You dedicate at least three to four days a week, so you're usually getting about four, three to four thousand caps at least, and. Doesn't take long to get 10,000 or more. Now, the town I'm going to next is not that far away, so I'm just going to run there. If you put away a two handed weapon, you actually run faster. Did you know that? Yep, PS, I'm sorry, Fallout 4 is the same way. You put away a uh, two handed. weapon, you can run faster. Now scaling these walls is possible a lot faster if you just jump into a uh, power armor and jump off, but yep, these are actually very scalable, going down at least. You just got to really hug the wall and look for places to land. Oh, okay. My friend just messaged me that she was talking about a video she saw that my camp was on fire. <laughs> that is funny. I did a review of the little fires that you could have got, I think it was within the last two months. I might go there first, but let me show you the places. Um, I'm actually heading over here, but I turned around and I'm looking at this visitor center. Another really good place for Scorch. And I don't know, for some reason, Mole Miner location and Scorch locations are really great to find these treasure hunters. Or at least you improve your odds. There is either a Yagwe or the Honey Beast here. So this is the usual spawn spot for those two big critters if you're needing to find any. I don't hear anything. I'm going to get just a little bit closer. Oh, and there's a bunch of scorch in the hotel. I'm going to run the other way now as soon as I can clear. Bee vision. How far can a bee see? <laughs> okay. Yes, I amuse myself every once in a while. Now this next town, let me show you again. Man Managa. Okay, people actually showed me how to pronounce it, but I still keep slaughtering the name. I do appreciate the pronunciation, so but I think I have a, a it's not a gift, but a curse. If I call something the wrong name, it is forever knighted that name and shall always be that name. Anyone else have that problem? They get the name wrong on something. Yeah. Okay, that first building right there with the trailer and a little top satellite. Oh, it actually does have a regular. That's not a treasure hunter. I'm going to use my grenade on him. And I made the mistake of not using two in a row. So I ended up using three. Got to remember that. Shoot two. Or how many it takes for your level. I think the car is going to blow. And 
And sometimes I've actually found two at that lo very location within this town. Do cover the entire town. Because they can be anywhere. Go to one other location within this town. I hope we still stay undetected. For XP, this is a really good spot because, as you can see, there's lots of mole miners here. Oh, I hear one. Two shots. over here long enough. Oh no! Guess not. It does give me time to get the alarm though. <laughs> okay, should I call for help or give up? Yeah. Oh! I just, yeah. Oh! There's my body! Yes, I folded into space into the hidden crevices of the game. There there lies my body. Oh, my body's gone. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, back to the town. This is a funny image. Um, my friend Harley was in the game, and her body stayed. So, yeah, we were kicking it around for a while, literally kicking it around for a while. Or I was filming as they did. At least it marked it for me. My body should be right where the mole miner is. Yep, there it is. Oh, okay. I was wondering why it was so um, parallel universe today. It's because you can't even go in here. That's why. Pretty sure, let me go around completely, checking all the doors and windows. Yep. All right, let me loot. All right, I think I've covered everything. Oh, notable locations. There's the church, and that is the police station. It says police right on top right there. And then there's a quest that you need to go inside that building. I was helping a friend yesterday work on it. All right, let's see what's next. Some events are free fast travel, so if you need to get to a location, you don't necessarily need to go to the event, but go there and save some caps, hopefully. And I'll check out the area. I just got to remember not to go into the location that triggers this event, and I don't remember. I always show up later. Go to the beer house. Okay, so as long as I don't go inside the beer house, I'll be okay. Oh, there is one here. 
All right. This was a good job. Here. <laughs> Sorry, I can't tell if the mic's picking up my stomach, but yeah, I am kind of hungry. I might have overshot the treasure hunter. Need that truck. My luck, he's in the brewery, I mean the beer house. Okay, let's go to a different gun. I don't want to blow myself up. Oh, I'm going to take these guys out because one of them is actually three star. Let's see if I've attracted the attention of anyone. Yep. Care of them, and <laughs> I might pull them all out. Hopefully, they'll ignore me now. They hide. Oh, there was the mole miner. He took off. There he is. All right. That probably will pull more of their attention. Not. All right, let's see if I can get it off of here. I don't think so. I gotta get closer. Oh no, I failed the event. I'm going to probably play for another 15, 20 minutes, and then i got to feed the beast that keeps grumbling at me. All right, let's see if we can find another really good spot. Now, this event, I think, cost. Yep. Since I don't have much time, I'm just going to have to spin. Ooh, that's still a lot. I think I'm going to go to Crater first. And then maybe it'll knock it down to under five caps to go over to Weavy Willards. saved about 19 caps also I would not do this with the ps4 because it takes forever to fast travel all right again I'm mostly gonna ignore everyone and I'm just looking for treasure hunters Here's one right away so he's on the back, he's on the back side. He's really close, so I am just gonna take him out that way.
And look, there's actually another one in the area I need to eat. Or at least drink some water. <laughs> I'm laughing because, yeah, my stomach's really grumbling. I can't tell if you guys can even hear, but uh, I don't, ha don't know how well the mic picks up. Someone's got to tell me, is it picking up my stomach? Ooh, look how far away the Scorch was, and it still took him out, too. So I believe that one card is really working well. The one that improves the radius of explosives. So if you're going to use the Nuka Launcher, definitely grab that. I've got a Dusty Pail. This is the other spot you check, and then you run over here to the pool area. And don't do that. <laughs> Let me see if any of them are three star. Okay. So that was really good. Got two there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and spin the caps. I don't want to, but I'm running out of time. I'll go over to Tyler County Fairgrounds. Now you can, like, I could throw a tent here and then go claim some of the workshops. Like, you can claim the Tyler County Fair workshop. That way, you got a free fast travel point, especially if you're in private world. And you're going to be doing this for like three to five hours. This uh, Tyler County is loaded with Scorch, so if you're needing Take out Scorch, or oh, there's one. You're just hunting for holiday Scorch or Spooky Scorch. It's a good spot to find them also. Oh, if you don't know, up here is a guy you can talk to at the Jar Toss. He just always lives up here. Also some good scrapping material. Head also to the workshop. I'm not going to claim it because I'm not going to. Oop, I'm too heavy. Um, do I have a pastry? Yes, one last pastry. Those Yagwe pastries are awesome. They give you an hour of plus 60 weight. And as I say, I'm going to check out this workshop because I actually have found a couple over here. And yep, I hear one now. So where is, oh, right in front of me. Get off that van in case it also decides it wants to explode, I think. Uh. 
so yeah, you just look at a vehicle. If it's not showing anything, it's not going to have a possibility, or it never has a possibility to explode, as I was doing there. Oh, I need to go back down and grab them. Uh, let me go ahead and take this guy out. I don't think a workshop is up for... Oh, I already did them. I don't even need to bother. Let's see if I can grab the pail off of this guy. Whoop. I think there's still one out and about. Alright, I'm going to go to one more place and then I'll go to White Springs Mall to open all the pails that I acquired today. I'm overweight. Let me get rid of some weapons. Mole miner gauntlets, they're not worth a lot. And they're 15 pounds. Just moving this way because I thought I heard a beeping, but it might just be a bird. Yeah, I would have got louder. So I'm going to go ahead. Find one really, really good place also. There's my tent. I'll use it as a wayward point. I can get closer if down south. Not spending as much caps. Isn't this a great picture? It's two floaters. They're already, they look like they're floating around, but no, I already had taken them out, and they're one of those that gets stuck in their position, so that was a very good uh, opportunity to take a picture. Okay, I think I'm going to try here. Maybe I'll go here and get rid of some more weight first. Then I'll try where the Snallygasters are at the flooded rail, rail, rail station. And that one might be it for me today. I still need to eat. Vanished. more of those stuff. Looks like I'll only be able to get up to twelve or thirteen hundred today with selling stuff. I could always make money by someone buying something from my vendor. if I get in a world with other people. Yep, 
I'll finish that up later tonight. I have an interesting glitch with my character. I don't have any chameleon armor, but you can see it does kick in when I sit down, but only for a couple seconds, and then it's gone. I think it's been that way since I created this character. Maybe it's a phantom off of one of my other characters. <laughs> they don't do a lot of damage, but they are annoying. them. Again, this train station, as of this season, will always have Snallygasters here, unless it is nuked, then robots show up for some reason. They came. <laughs> oh, they are taking them out. Oh, they actually took them out. You're a tough little booger. Can I have you as a pet? What's your name? You're a good boy. Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy? Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you go if you leave me alone. What's your name? Deadly Mole Rat. So just, just, just stay here. I'm going to go over here. You did such a good job. You did. Snallygaster Slayer. All right, I do not hear treasure hunters over here you know I've been wondering when are they gonna bring they've been promising pet camp cat sorry let's, let's see if I can say it correctly camp pets ones where you can actually kind of like in Elder Scrolls where you have a home pet that you sit there and he stays in your base I go one other place down here since I'm so close. And yeah, this will definitely be the last for me in this uh, live stream before my stomach starts eating itself.
Actually, I might pop my tent here. It's pretty far away from everything. Now, sometimes they do hang out. What's that? Ooh. Let me go ahead. It'll probably bring the scorch over here. Did I take them all out? They were in a row. I bet I did. This this weapon is awesome. You need to go get it. Like I said, it's on the scoreboard. Free weapon. Alright, I'm going to go to two other locations. I'm going to head towards the, the uh, fissures. So yeah, they can be anywhere over here. Up to this tree line. And run this way towards that by itself tree. There's a, oh, grab a little teddy bear up here. Actually, this might be a good spot for a little camp. I think nothing's actually here. Yep. To that forest area up here. And yeah, I don't hear anything. Actually, it needs to go this way. There's my tent. So over here is where I'm talking about. There's another fissure. Let's see if it's on the map. This fissure is not on the map. It's a small one. Definitely, you could build a camp right on top of it. All right, I'm going to sneak over. Oh, there's also a possibility that an albino deathclaw can spawn up in this area. I think also one of those sloth creatures. Don't see either one of them today. So I'm going to make my way to that building right over there. That'll be the last spot I look. Actually, is that one right there? Yes. All right, I might. Oh, yeah. I'm going to run for it. I can make that oops, building before I die. I'd like to get my armor on. Any armor will do. Let's see what I have with me. Yay, I do have my scorch. Alright, checking for fusion core. That's a trick, hopefully so that you do actually enter your power armor when you want to. All right, this is my Scorch armor. It has 75% resistance to any sort of damage from Scorch creatures, any Scorch creature. You notice I'm doing a lot better now. Okay, where did the Mole Miner go? It's not a gaster. No, it's not. It's one of those newt. No, a gulper. Newt is the baby one. All right, where did it go? Oh, oh, there he. No, that's not it. What are you after? Okay. Let's 
So you have to like, they won't ignore me. I'm gonna have to, it's supposed to be fast. ignore them and run after but I have no idea which way he went all right let me get the little launcher ready and then this quad in case I got a verse for the scorch beast better drink some water and here I go Your hand first. Oh, it is attacking me. I hear it. Don't. It'd be bad if he was already taken out. Yeah, and I think I'm running out of road. I bet I lost it. Darn it. Unless... Uh, could that be what they're attacking? I wouldn't think it would be game design. Because then they would attack these things all the time. Stay still so I can get some AP back. Oh, he shot off one on his way down. Oh, was you hiding? Oh, wait, wait, nope, nope. I was just asking you a question. Why can't you be like the mole rat and just be nice? Okay, I'm gonna go back to where, whoa, I'm way over here, where I first spotted him. Let's see if maybe he would have reset and came back to his original spot. I hear him. Right. But he's hiding. He's hiding in one of these crevices. Oh, there you are. All right, now I'm overweight. Just ignore these guys for a while. See if I can get up on top of that building. Okay, where are you at? I'm still coveting a explosive quad. 
That is my dream weapon when it comes to these railway rifles. Best one I got, I guess, is the 50% limb damage. Wait so I can go. Let's see, three pounds. Probably just go up in. I guess maybe food. There we go. Let's go to White Springs. And open the pails. See, they're firing at me. As you can see, I'm taking a little bit of damage. But this 75% less damage is really, really good in these areas, especially if you have to go up against the Scorch Beast. It kicked off my fast travel. All right, let me come to the end. Let's see, it. do it again, and not let them shoot at me. Ah, oh, just one shot did it. Okay, maybe I'll have you guys go up against the ghouls. With the ghouls. You can always put enemies against enemies if you're ever in big trouble. So if we just know where each faction is or grouping is, sometimes you, if you are able to, you can run to them for help, especially if you're a low level baby baby character. Let me get all my power armor. And once I'm done with the pails, I'll also go to the menu and see what I've done on the scoreboard so far. The pail I bought, I'm not going to make yet. I'm going to wait till I get five of them. So I'm just going to open what I have earned. So let's see, we got six of the mediums, five of the dusty, and none of the ornate. So we'll start with dusty. I have figured out they make a special noise when they open if there's a nice apparel or um, plan inside. And I actually have actually gotten, actually, actually, a plan out of the Dusties. I thought it would be very impossible, but... So far, not a whole lot of. Got one left. Taking my time so they don't overload too much. I don't think it matters, but. And it looks like I didn't get anything from the Dusties. 
I've got six of the medium size or regular. That might have made the noise. Let's see. Or do they just sound different? No, I think it's more of a flash sound than that. So maybe no. I think I didn't get anything from it. It must be that each size pail opens differently. Hey, where's my stuff? Hey. There you go. Thank you, thank you. Four more to go. Didn't hear a special sound, so probably no on that one. Oh, I am wondering, I am using the controller's mic, so how does it sound for live streaming? I'm, I would like if I could just game this way and not have to use the headset. I just hate wearing them. So yeah, I could use your input. How's it sound? There we go. West Virginia State Bird Rug. Okay, I don't know if I have that one, but at least it's a plan. And it's from a medium-sized one, so not bad, not bad at all. Two left. I forget you also get caps out of these. Uh, one more left, and that'll be it for the pails and then I'll go into the menu and wrap up this video. See how I've done on the scoreboard. Last one. Okay, I can see my caps, but I don't think they have added up because yeah, it didn't change when it added the 10 caps there. So I might be close or over a thousand now on the caps. We go over to the notes. Okay, I actually had not learned that one. I'm going to learn it now so I can build the rug. That would be cool. Let me look at my caps. 921. That's weird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it didn't move. I'll have to review the video. Did I not get any caps off the caps, or did it predict it and push it ahead? I don't know. All right, don't forget to go check out that PlayStation 5 bundle giveaway that I have. There's a link in the description. You can go check it out for your own chance at one. Oh, look at the bear painting. Okay, random. Um, I will be coming back on later tonight because, yeah, I definitely want to get more treasure hunters in. I probably will be joining up with some friends, so that will be great. Let me again know how the mic sounds, and um, I'm going to jump out of this game and go see how I've done on the scoreboard. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me see. I didn't earn anything this time. I should be halfway, though, at least. It looks like I'm down to four. All right. Until next time, happy gaming. Thank you.